Hi, welcome back to Chili Product Trials and Tribulations. We're on episode 93. Now today we have the second sauce from Burns and McCoy. This one's called uh, Especio Rojo. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but the, the, the first one that, that we had at Exoresco qualified as being the hottest all-natural all sauce ever featured on the show. Man, I I, I use some of that afterwards on, on food, you know, occasionally, and, and I sometimes would get cramps, you know, like you do with the extract sauces, but, so, so yeah, that, that, that one's definitely tough, but, uh, this one's a little bit different, I think this one, first of all, you have the Burns and McCoy skull on here, you, you don't have Medusa with her snakes as hair, but you do have a skull, um, and, and and this one on the mild, medium, hot category says medium, so um, uh, okay, l l let me read you the writing here. Burns and McCoy Especio Roja is an authentic Mexican table sauce. We have combined the sweetness of the Guajillo peppers, I never even heard of those, to complement the smokiness of fire roasted tomatoes and red bell peppers. To kick things up a notch, we have added chili de arba and empequin peppers. Finally, we have roasted pepitas and secret spices that round out the sauce perfectly. Especio Roja pairs well with Mexican food, steak, seafood, chicken, and pork. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a smell and see what we have. Hmm. It doesn't smell at all like Exoresco. Instead, it, it, it smells a little bit more spicy. I like I spice oriented, almost like a curry, but you, you, you don't get that heavy pepper floral f flavor coming in your face. So the, this looks like a c completely different sauce. Yeah, also maybe a little bit of salt in there. So. Yeah, uh, this is very, very different from, from the other one. Anyway, uh, let's pour this onto the spoon, taste it, and see what happens. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Oh, it's spilling. I'm sorry. One, two, three. All right. What happened? Did I just lose the lid? Well, we'll we'll worry about that later. Anyway. Yeah, totally different from Exoresco. This one is all spices, curries, not pepper oriented at all, even though it has those like chili de arba and pequin peppers and inside, but it doesn't have that, you know, that fruity floral taste of the Exoresco. Uh, much, much milder. Uh, this is the, the, this is one that even a non chili head could handle. Mm. Yeah, the but it is very good, very good. I mean, 
I'm surprised that they even put this on, on the medium category. I'd put this on low. But, uh, yeah. This one has a... that doesn't have much vinegary tang to it either. Now, now that can be either good or bad, depending on the circumstances. But, yeah. This is... I, I this is one... Oh, I did find the lid. This is one I, I, I'd recommend ver very highly. It's uh, very tasty, and, and, and I'm looking so much forward to, to putting this on food. I think this would be dynamite, you know, on enchiladas or chips or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. A very enjoyable sauce today. Thank you for watching, and and I'll see you in the next review. Take care. Bye.